positive news on the diplomatic front, Israel and Poland have confirmed that the political crisis between the two countries is over, announcing the return of the Polish ambassador to the Jewish state. Israel's Foreign Minister Eli Cohen meeting today with his counterpart Zbigniew Rao in Warsaw. Cohen welcoming the decision to resume the trips for young Israelis to Poland, saying this will help strengthen the relationship between the two countries. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu congratulating the Polish government on its decision to return its ambassador to Israel. So for more, our senior international affairs correspondent Owen Alterman is here in studio and it's a major breakthrough. Eli Cohen calling this a new page in relations between the two countries. Talk to us about the rift that existed, some context as to why this is so significant right now. Right, obviously time will tell, Benito. We've had reconciliation before between the Polish and Israeli governments, only for it to break down over time. But obviously the relations are running up as we've just seen, again with Eli Cohen's visit to Warsaw and this agreement of allowing Israeli groups to go back, youth groups to go back. A big part of Israeli culture, as you know, Benita, for high school aged students in particular to travel to the concentration camps in Poland, learn directly and see directly the history of the Holocaust and absorb it as part of their acculturation and their education uh, going forward. And the fact that the groups were stopped, obviously leaving a real hole in that education. So I think that many in Israel really wanted to be able to, to see this restored. The narrow dispute over these groups had to do with armed guards accompanying them or not. But of course, the wider picture, Benita, is not just about that. It's about two laws in particular that the Polish government moved forward with. One, on Holocaust memory, making it potentially a crime to say that the Polish nation were responsible for the Holocaust. That was a number of years ago. It was in Warsaw at the time that the president signed the law. Really a low in the relations between the two countries when that law was first moved forward. And then a second law about restitution of property to the heirs of Jews who had lost property uh, during the course of the Holocaust. The Israeli government not happy with that bill bank pad being passed through the Polish legislature. At any rate, it's a complicated issue restitution. But of course, even the even wider context is historical uh, tension between the two. Obviously, Jews and Poles shared a lot of good times in their history, and the four Israeli foreign minister talked to that in his speech, as one would expect him to do at that podium in Warsaw, certainly on occasion like this. But there were also darker times in that history, and that's left a lot of tension uh, between the two groups. Groups. So again, obviously a lot of history, a thousand years of history of Jews in Poland, all of it on display, but the relationships on and up with those groups going back to Poland. Just to give you a sense of, of Benita, of the fine line that an Israeli foreign minister has to walk, Eli Cohen talking about in his, in his the text of his speech, but the Holocaust being caused by Nazi Germany and its collaborators, right? On the one hand, not naming Poles as collaborators, even in, as individuals, let alone as a nation. But on the other hand, not leaving the collaborators out for those who may see any step of reconciliation between Israel and Poland as some kind of sellout to Poland's uh, to right or even far right wing government. So again, the foreign minister, I'm sure, had a very, very carefully worded text, I think, walking that fine line. And as you say, such a critical part of the education system. So many youngsters always wanting to be part of those trips and so important in terms of awareness about Holocaust and of course the history for this country. Thank you so much as always, Senior International Affairs and Diplomatic Correspondent Owen 